Hi, welcome to another video. Today I'm going to show you what's in my bag. So start off with my one of my main wide angle lens, the Nikon 14 to 24 f 2.8. Basically, this is a very good wide angle lens, and I shoot it for many good landscape shot. And basically, I also have the the filter, the lead filter system that for this uh, particular lens that I can um, put in a CPL filter and also or a, a ND filter, which is uh, very useful for landscape shooting. And basically, I like the super wide angle of the. 14mm which uh, make the shot uh, truly different from the normal uh, maybe a wide angle shot or a normal lens shot so I like this lens a lot so another thing is my general purpose lens which is the Nikon 2470 f 2.8 this is the older version than the current VR model but um, I feel this is uh, for my purpose shooting is uh, good for me as uh, this is lighter and and for traveling it's also so easy and uh, 2470 is a very good um, focal length for maybe uh, event shooting or some no, you know some normal portrait shooting so the next in my bag is the Nikon 85 f1.8 G. Um, for for this because normally I don't shoot portrait a lot, so I do need like a fast prime f1.4, and of course for the price range is this is very reasonable and and of course comparable. Some reviews say that this lens is uh, sharper than the f. 1.4 version um, but to me this is reasonable and um, and can shoot amazing portrait with this uh, next is the manual AIS 50mm f1.4 this is a manual lens and um, of course to me I, I like this uh, compact size and very good for traveling for for the quality of the shots uh, I can say may not comparable with the modern lens but it bring a special special look to your to your photos and uh, then this to maintain in a very good condition Okay, the next I'm going to talk about is the my major building lens, the Nikon 200 to 500. Basically, for the price I pay, I think this is worth it and one of the best building lens out there. Of course, for the similar price range and length, uh, people will maybe look at the Tamron 150 600 or the Sigma 150 600 contemporary but for me I still prefer the Nikon version of this which is um, in terms of the the image quality and the focusing speed I believe is uh, superior than the the Sigma or Tam Tamron equivalent and of course uh, people may argue that Sigma or Tamron may have a longer focal range, but um, I think 100mm is not different a lot and this also can put it the uh, 1.4 daddy converter to make it uh, around 750mm this is one of my favorite birding lens 
I have another Sigma 70 to 300 which is not here uh, that one is a non BR version uh, I like it to bring to travel because it's lightweight uh, although there's no VR to it um, but I feel that the, the main uh, good point for it is uh, light and portable on that next I'm going to show you my my main body which is my only body other than the Nikon 1 J5 with uh, current, currently I'm shooting with uh, I'm using this uh, Nikon D750 as my main DSLR it's a 24 megapixel full frame camera uh, I think this is a very multi-purpose uh, camera and uh, with uh, its tilting uh, LCD which is very useful for shooting especially landscape or you know where you have to find a different angle like a lower angle or higher length angle this is very convenient and mainly I pair it with uh, my another landscape lens which is the Nikon 20mm 1f 1.8g this is uh, I can say an alternative to my 14mm because uh, sometime for this weight I will not bring everywhere this is I think cost uh, a weight about 1 kg I think this is cost less than one maybe about 3 to 500 gram only and for traveling and walkabout lens it's uh, very versatile and also can do some uh, street photography lens or uh, landscape of course and also maybe some portrait shooting also and currently I also pair this with the Rode Video Micro Mic can uh, also good for shooting some videos which is some of the unboxing video I currently shoot with this uh, combination so lastly is one of my uh, only flash which this is a uh, I can see quite a old flash the SB600 basically I don't use flash a lot so but I believe this is just good for me of course the newer version maybe like the SB600 uh, 700 or the 800 or 9 or I think the 500 this is a good choice for beginners and also uh, maybe not so heavy shooter so I think that's it for today video of what's in my bag so basically of course you can see that I'm a mainly a Nikon shooter so maybe in time I may shift to Canon or Sony but right now I'm quite satisfied with the current gear I have uh, so thank you for watching